Good morning. Breaking news. The events unfolding in the center of the country at this hour are almost beyond description. A major earthquake rocked the central region of the U.S. early this morning. The U.S. Geological Survey reported a magnitude of 7.7, .7, the largest ever in that region since 1812. Dozens were killed instantly and hundreds trapped in the rubble of collapsed buildings. Moments after the quake, we talked with Mark Withers from a voluntary response organization who reported, all communications in the immediate and surrounding areas went down. Transportation routes were also blocked. Gas and water mains uh, ruptured, igniting massive blazes. No one was there to fight the fires because with roadway roadways crippled, the area was cut off from medical supplies and aid. As emergency workers were frantically trying to access the area and do what they could to evacuate survivors, Without warning, the unthinkable, a secondary 6.0 magnitude quake ripped through the central U.S. region two hours into the disaster. The devastation is spread as far as the eye can see. Whole communities gone. In their place, mounds of wreckage. In one area, earthquake damage levees gave way and water from the surrounding rivers rushed into the bordering cities, destroying everything that was left standing from the quake. Hundreds of residents outside the epicenter fleeing from the fires and chaos, evacuated to shelters set up by the local government. Others are fleeing to adjacent states. The governors of eight states have declared a state of emergency. At this point, we can tell you about the scale of the disaster. Again, it is very near huge population centers. There are witness accounts of the ground opening up and swallowing whole sections of land, buildings toppling and power lines crashing to the ground. People are trapped in their collapsed homes. Early morning commuters were crushed on crumbling highways. This area of the central U.S. lies within the New Madrid Seismic Zone, an active earthquake area that experiences dozens of unnoticeable quakes each year. But today, the nation is witnessing natural destruction, unprecedented in the region's recent history. The injured are pouring into medical facilities. Two major hospitals collapse, so injured survivors are lining the streets outside of the facilities that are still functioning. The president seemed optimistic, saying, I'm very confident the American people will come together to assist the residents of the affected area. We are able to make contact with one local uh, official who is reporting that a large power plant also exploded, cutting off power grids across three states. Debris and waste from the damaged facility leaked into nearby water supply, contaminating drinking water and wildlife preserves. Sewer and water treatment facilities were washed out or failed. On top of the increasing devastation, officials are now dealing with an environmental nightmare. And there is still the very real threat of aftershocks or even larger earthquakes. The U.S. Geological Survey is monitoring the situation very closely. It is hard to determine the extent of the damage at this point. Dozens are dead, hundreds injured, and many, many more missing and feared dead. Officials are asking residents to remain calm, listen to your TV and radio for instructions. Emergency workers, again, frantically trying to get into the area to search the rubble for survivors. Assist the injured and combat the spreading fires. This situation is very fluid. Stay tuned. Our reporting on the earthquakes will continue. I'm Kathleen Kelly for VNN.